8th of March and four teams vying for it. What a phenomenal story this is in Indian football. Absolutely. It's the best advertisement for Indian football because on the last day, four teams. And don't forget Minerva playing Churchill. It was when C.R. Shri Krishna didn't blow the whistle in Bagan's favour then, pointed to the spot, but the play goes on. Still nil nil in Calicut. Because good news in Panchkula with Minerva scored in stats, man, Arjun. Kalu Uche also has 13 goals in the ISL. He won't add to his tally, of course. But Dipanda Dika has just leveled him, leveled his goal tally. So now, Anas, tell us how do things stand in the Hero I League now? Minerva. And then Naroka and East Bengal currently nil nil. It will be a great story if Naroka also managed to win. So many stories. Two big teams, two new, new, fairly new teams for Manipur football. What a day it will be if Naroka were to win the title. As he has done once again. Payaz with the cross. Ever so close. Dipanadika just made a run. A yard and a half ahead. Getting the equalizer for Kokulam. Mohan Bagan, of course, are vying for their fifth National League crown. Would go level on wins with. That's the silver lining for an otherwise disappointing season for Mohan Bagan. But that's the thing with Mohan Bagan and East Bengal this year. We had so many. The season's not over for Rizal FC yet. They face Bengaluru FC in the AFC Cup. That's an interesting one. Two Indian clubs clashing it out on an Asian platform. Absolutely brilliant. Again, the Romanian is looking for Mapuya. Daniel Addo saved his team the blushes on the previous occasion. He was the one who intercepted.